G'day. In this video, what I'll do is I'll give my uh, work boots here, my Caterpillar work boots, a, a quick clean. Um, I like to do that every three or four months just to keep them up to speed. Um, just a quick note, you can see uh, on this one here has got the traditional cross laces here. On this one here I've got the laces towards the, uh, the outside. So your feet, funnily enough, aren't the same size. So whenever I have um, pressure or I felt um, a, a bit of um, tension pushed down on my shoe, then I just place the shoelaces on the outside while still maintaining um, tightness on the shoe. It takes the pressure away from those particular points of discomfort on my foot. So just a, a handy tip there. So what I'll do with the cleaning today is, this, like I said, it's a deep, uh, it's just a quick clean, not a deep clean. So I'm just gonna um, give it a, a brush off and then um, with some deep clean soap, uh, I'll let it sit for an hour or so, and then place on the leather conditioner. Uh, always good to condition your leather, keeps it supple and stops it from cracking. Um, and then I had a look at what sort of polish I had on hand. So I had that, it wasn't really quite the same color. I, I like the, the color of, of it as it is. So what I'll do instead of using um, a polish with pigment and I'll just use a, a neutral polish. So I've got some neutral polishes here, I'll use one of the two. Give it a, a polish with the neutral and then buff it off with the uh, horseshoe brush and that should just about do it. Uh, for the uh, the black part there I might use a, um, a shoe polish with pigment that's, that's black on there just to bring that up a little bit better. Um, but we'll see how we go. I'll give you a before and after of the shoes, of the boots I mean. Um, so I'll, I'll start with this one and then um, use this one as the before and after shot. Alright, so here we go. Okay, so after the quick clean there with the um, soap, just wiped it all off. Uh, like I said, this is only just a quick clean. And the next stage is we're going to put on the uh, leather conditioner. Alright, so there we have it. It's played um, the leather conditioner, as you can see, comparing it to that boot, it's just uh, turned it to a, while well, it's fresh, turned it into a darker shade, and that'll draw in and, and soak into the leather. I'll just let it sit there. Um, once it's drawn in, I'll then come back and put um, some neutral polish over the top for a nice quick. Okay, that's been about an hour now. You can see that it's um, started to draw all of the nutrients into the leather there. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll just use our horsehair brush, just give it a buff, 
get rid of all the excess, um, which then means we can move on with the next stage, and that is to apply the neutral pot. Okay, you may have seen in my previous videos where I used a uh, cloth to apply uh, most of the polishes. Um, this time we're going to use a brush, so I'm just going to use this part here the, for the on application, and then buff it off with the horsehair brush. So we're going to use the uh, Kiwi Polish Neutral. Uh, neutral is always a, a good default setting, especially if you have uh, a couple of different types of um, colour leather on your shoes. Um, using your neutral polish um, it's quite handy, it does the same thing. It just doesn't put that um, added pigment back, back into the leather. And so what I'll do now is I'll just go through and apply all of the neutral polish. all of the leather areas uh, then I'll buff it off I might actually do um, two applications it's quite quite quick and easy to do uh, especially with the brush I'll pay um, some good attention into the tongue area there a lot of dirt seems to gather in there uh, that's always good to not neglect that area. Okay, I just applied the first coat of polish on there. I'll just give it a buff off. Right, so there we have two coats of Kiwi Polish buffed off. It's not too bad. Uh, you can tell the difference between the two boots. Uh, so what I'll go and I'll do exactly the same procedure onto the right boot here. Um, what I might do differently is actually put some uh, wax black polish on the, uh, the toe there just to see what comparison is. Okay, similar process than what we did uh, with the last boot. Uh, just give it a quick brush off, <coughs> and then um, I'll use the deep clean with the brush, and this time I'll use a little bit of water. And I'll see if we can get a lather up as well, and aid in the cleaning. Okay, it's important too to get into the area in between the laces here. I want a lot of dirt and. And debris builds up in there. Just get in there and clean that out. Doesn't right, take so too much. Keep the, keep the quick spray with the deep clean soap. And then I'll use the brush there with a bit of water. I'll lather him up. So using this method when you're using water and lather, once you've wiped it off you'll need to allow a little bit more drying time um, before you apply any further um, treatment like the conditioners or the polish. You want to make sure it dries before you apply that onto the, the leather. It's doing a good job there with the brush and the, the soap there. If there's any areas that you want to pay special attention to, mind you, this is the quick clean. And once we do a deep clean, you'd actually spend a bit of time there um, to get any of those uh, particularly stubborn um, dirt areas off. <coughs> okay, 
and then just give it a wipe down. Do the whole boot. And once we've finished, we'll then let it dry. And then go on to applying the just let the conditioner. Boot dry after we applied the cleaner uh, with the water, and uh, it's come up really well, really nice. I think it, um, I think it come up better than the first boot actually. All right, so we're going to apply the leather conditioner. I just finished applying the leather conditioner. We'll let that uh, give that time to permeate. Then we'll apply the wax polish over the top. Okay we've given time for the conditioner to work its magic. Let's go over with the polish now. Similar to what we did with the left shoe or left boot. And I'll just go through and do the whole boot and bring you back in. Do two coats. So there we have uh, two polish coats, so I'll just some off. kiwi polish, wax polish onto the toe, and just buff it off. It was just going to be a, a quick polish. Just get OCD sometimes. Right, give that a buff off and bring it back in. Right, just give that a quick buff. And there's a slight difference there. It's actually more than a slight difference, it's quite, it's quite marked. So, there you go. Right, so here we have the finished product. It didn't take too long at all. Um, what I learnt from that was that uh, the deep clean soap actually works much better when you work it in with water, creating a lather. And uh, the addition of the, uh, the black polish on the toe there uh, gives a, a better finish there. So what I might do, and, and I will do because it'll trigger my OCD, is I'll just go through onto the left shoe now, I'll boot and place on some polish on there as well so they look the same. But they're all good to go now. I can wear them safely to work tomorrow. No problems at all. Alright, thanks for your time.